Here's my favorite part. I call this the ban the rebel clause. Ready? To ensure that registered journalism organizations are not used to promote the views or objectives of any particular person or related group of persons, a registered journalism organization will be required to have a board of directors or trustees, each of whom deals at arm's length with each other, must not be factually controlled by a person or a group of related persons, and must generally not in any given year receive gifts that represent more than 20% of its local revenue, total revenues, including donations from any one source, excluding bequests and one-time gifts made on the initial establishment of the particular registered journalism organization. Like I say, I'd never take money from Justin Trudeau because I'm not a prostitute. You can't take money from Justin Trudeau and also report on Justin Trudeau, um, other than if you're a stenographer or his PR boy. That's why I refuse to call anyone at the CBC a journalist. There, there may be a, a, a government journalist, you, but you have to have that qualifier in there. If you don't have that adjective, a government journalist, um, it's not true. I mean, if you're paying for it, it's not love, fellas. It's prostitution. Now, the funny thing is, we at The Rebel actually meet all of those tests. We have a board of directors at arm's length from each other. I'm not sure what it means to be factually controlled by a group of people. Isn't that what a team of managers and editors do? They sort of control it. I, I don't even know what that means in English. Here at The Rebel, we have a head of editorial, and we have a managing editor, and, and they take pitches from our journalists and they assign stories. I make suggestions too, but I don't assign stories on a daily basis. I'll be honest, we put out so many videos on any given day, I sometimes don't even have time to watch them all. And unlike, say, the CBC, we don't have a sugar daddy. We, we have thousands of little supporters. No one supporter has ever given us more than 2% of our funds. I, I think those rules were supposed to be some sort of anti-rebel poison pill, but it's not. We're actually more legitimate, more grassroots, more Canadian than most of the media organizations that would try to keep us out. I mean, <laughs> post media, God love them, their bonds are held by a hedge fund in New Jersey. I bet they're going to get most of the dough here, though. Look, we're more independent, we're more Canadian, we're more supported by grassroots viewers than any of our competitors. The only way to keep us out of this deal, and I say for the third time, I'm not a prostitute. I'm not looking to be picked up by Justin Trudeau for a few pieces of silver. No, thanks. Um, the only way to keep us out would be to have this hyper-political board appointed by Trudeau to say, oh, you're not real journalists. That's an excerpt from the Ezra Levant show. Every day I do a video monologue and then I interview an interesting guest and then I end by reading my hate mail, but you've got to subscribe to it which you can do at therebel.media slash shows.